Here is a very important question from interview perspective. What is the difference between out and ref parameters? I already explained ref parameter in my previous video. Here we will discuss the differences. See this code carefully. Here we are using two variables a and b. Okay. Then we are passing these two variables using update method. A variable is using out and B variable is using ref keyword. And same way we are receiving here in the method. Now first rule of passing by reference is the address of A and uh, C and B and D will be same. Okay. So the changes in variable will persist and maintained. This is the first rule of uh, passing by reference. Now the first difference between these two keywords is in case of out parameter, no need to initialize out parameter before passing it. See, I have not initialized this variable a, okay. But in case of ref parameter, you must initialize this ref parameter b, else compiler will throw an error. Second difference is out parameter a must be initialized before returning. See, I set the value of out parameter c equal to 100 here. If you will not initialize it, then you will get a compile, compiler error here for out parameter. But, but, but for ref parameter D, initialization or assigning value is not mandatory before returning. You can assign or not assign, it's up to you. So these are the two differences between ref and out parameter. In short, you can say when to use out and when to use ref parameter use out parameter to return a new and fresh value okay and use ref parameter ref keyword to modify an existing value i hope the differences and the use is clear to you now what is params keyword when to use params keyword in real applications let's see the code first here you can see inside the main method we are calling add method where we are passing multiple parameters and in add method definition, we are receiving those parameters value in an array by using the params keyword. And then we are using for each loop to iterate those parameters received one by one. Okay. So that is the purpose of params keyword. Right now, here are four parameters, but you can pass five, six, seven, or any number of parameters here. That is the use of params keyword. It is useful. When programmer do not have any prior knowledge about the number of parameters to be passed. Okay. When you don't know how many parameters are going to come. So the definition is params keyword is used as a parameter which can take the variable number of arguments. What are optional parameters in a method? It is a very simple and beneficial. See here is the main method from where we are calling add optional method. Okay. Now you might think uh, here we are using method overloading. We have two methods, right? But here is the twist. We have only only one method here like this. Now this method have this third parameter with a default value. So this third parameter is an optional parameter. When you will not pass this third parameter from the method like this, then default value will be taken. Right now the default value is 50. And if we call uh, the method with the third parameter, like from like three parameters, then the value which is passed is taken and it will ignore the default value. So the definition is optional parameters allows some arguments which are not mandatory to pass and their default value is set. That's it. What are named parameters in a method? As always, let's see the code first. See. Here inside the main method, we have the normal way to call the method. And another one is with name parameters. Okay. This is this A, B, C are the name of the parameters. That is why it is called named parameters. And here is the add method definition. Now, what is the benefit of this named parameter here? We do not have to maintain the sequence in this case. Normally, when we pass the parameters, we have to pass in the same sequence. Okay. Otherwise, it will mismatch. But, but here it is not required. For example, A is first parameter here and it will match this based on the name, not uh, by the position or sequence. Okay. Not a very big beneficial these named parameters are, but this is it. The definition is 
नेम्ड पैरामीटर्स आर यूज टू स्पेसिफाई एनी एन आर्गूमेंट बेस्ड ऑन द नेम ऑफ द आर्गूमेंट एंड नॉट द पोजिशन और सीक्वेंस डेट्स इट